Hey guys, this time on Janky Shack, we're going to be making our own 3D printed custom poker chips, dual color. We're going to be using Fusion 360 3D modeling software. We're going to go over that in part one. Part two is going to be using the slicer and the setup for the 3D printer G code. And the third episode is going to be how to actually set up and print on the actual 3D printer. Got my solar panels hooked up to this battery bank. All right, so here we are in Fusion 360. This is what it's going to look like after you install it and get it running. Um, I might make another video on how to get Fusion. It's pretty simple. Just go to the Autodesk website, download the trial, and then just make an account. When it asks you for a license, you can choose Enthusiast license, and as long as you don't make like $100,000 a year off this software, you can basically use it for free. So, now that we're in here, you're probably like, okay, well, what do all these buttons do? Um, that's kind of like what I thought, too. So, basically, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to just click here on this Create Sketch. It's going to bring up this thing called the Origin. Um, this is going to show you the three planes in three-dimensional space. Um, basically, we're going to select one of them because we're going to make a 2D sketch. So, it's going to be similar to, like, drawing on a piece of paper. So... We're going to click this bottom one, just because I feel like it, but you can really pick any of them. Um, so now you can push the middle mouse button down, hold it down, and you can move the screen like this so you can get it in the center. Then you're going to push um, C for circle. That's going to bring you the circle tool and kind of like see how it like locks on to that middle part. Get it in there and then click once and then you can pull it out and it's gonna give you that circle with a dimension in it. So we're gonna make a standard size poker chip today just because that's uh, a good size for the 3D printer. And, uh, and it's also pretty useful. So 39 millimeters is the standard size poker chip. So enter, enter again, and that's gonna give us our 39 millimeter diameter circle. Um, if you for some reason it's not in millimeters, you can go up here to settings, click here, and you can select um, what unit you want. And we want millimeters for this. Okay, so now we have our kind of like our base. We're gonna stop this sketch, and then um, depending on the view, you can either hold down Shift and middle mouse and move it, and you can click this home button or like any of these buttons here. To get to change the view. So we're just click home. Okay, so and if you want to get that origin thing back, it's right here. The light bulbs are show hide. Okay, so we're gonna click the meat of the circle here, and we want to make it into the 3D object. So we're gonna click uh push Q on the keyboard, and that's gonna bring up this extrude menu, which you can also access by going to create extrude, but um use Q because Eventually, that's what you're going to use. Okay, so we're going to see now you can see it's like a 3D cylinder. So we're going to do one millimeter. So just type one and then enter. Um, and there you go. No taper angle or anything on this menu. So now that we have our um, kind of like the middle piece of this coin, uh, we want to draw like the face on it. So click on the, this thing is a face, so draw, click on the face, and then click create sketch again. So now we're going to make another sketch on top of the cylinder that we already made. And if you look down here, you can see like our history in this timeline down here, and as you do more operations, it'll just keep going and going and going. So you can edit those, you can kind of go back and change dimensions and stuff if you want to later. Okay, so now we're going to do C for circle again, go back, lock onto that middle part, and then um, go out and then push uh, enter so that it's 39. Enter again, and it'll give you that 39 millimeter dimension. If you clicked, instead of pushing enter, it's not going to have that dimension, so you can click on the uh, circle, push D on the keyboard, and then you can get the dimension and push enter and then now you have 39. If you, for some reason, or like say you wanted to change it, if it's if you make make another one and you want to make it like smaller, you can type in a different number here 
and um, you can change the diameter of this. And you can also do that in the other sketch too. So we're going to do back to 39. Okay, now escape to get out of that dimension tool. So now we're going to click that circle again, the perimeter, and we're going to push the O key on the keyboard, and that's going to give us this offset tool. So we're probably going to do uh, 4 millimeters looks good, so we'll type 4, uh, enter on the keyboard, and now we have this other circle in here. And this is going to be for the uh, rim on the outside, outside perimeter of the coin, so that when you stack the coins, uh, they stack flat, so that you don't have like the letters or whatever you put in the middle doesn't make it like project too f past the rim of the thing. Okay, so now we have that rim, um, and now we want to put our text in the middle. You don't have to put text, you can do whatever you want. But for this one, we're going to do a uh, janky shack right here, two words. So I'm going to push uh, S on the keyboard, it's going to bring up this little shortcuts thing. And this text command is what we're going to use, but you might not have that one there. So we're going to go into search, type in text, and then you're going to have this little thing. Just click uh, anywhere and type in janky. Okay, so now you see the text, but it's upside down. That's not what we want. Um, we can also change the font. Now, you can check any of these fonts here that come with Windows, or you can go online like I did and download your own font. Just make sure that you install the font before you open Fusion, uh, or it won't be in this list. So Metal Lord is the one I use. And then it's still upside down, so we need to go here to Angle. And uh, like one of the things you can do is you can like use the mouse and like turn it around like this, kind of eyeball it. But uh, there's an easier way to do it. Just go here, type in 180, um, and then, oh, oops push enter but uh, that's okay if you close that box for whatever reason you can just right click on the text and click edit text and you'll bring the box back so you can click on this um, blue thing and that's kind of like what moves it around but as you can see it's going to be too big because it's going to be into the uh, into the rim so we can go to the height and we can make it like 8 uh, that looks Looks decent there. Okay, so that's our first one. So we're going to click OK and then push S again. It's going to bring up our shortcuts. And now this should probably be here if, since you've already used it. And then you can click again. Shack. Okay, same thing again. Metal Lord. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think this one was 8, so we'll do that one 8. And then uh, 180 again on the angle just to turn it around. And oh, uh oh. And okay, so here we are. You can kind of like eyeball these. So that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do uh, once you get the once you're happy with that, um, you can stop sketch again, and then click here in this rim. Uh, push Q on the keyboard. That's gonna bring you the extrude. You can also click this home button, so you can see the extrude. Okay, so now we we have one profile selected. That's the rim. We also want to pull out this. Click here and click here on the text. And then you're going to, when you pull this up, you can see now, it's a, uh, it's a three-dimensional object. Okay, so now we're going to pull this up 0.6 millimeters. And there's a reason for this. Um, also make sure angle is zero and make sure this says join, uh, not new body. Because that will give you an issue later when you try to export it to the printer. So click join, um, and then OK. OK, so now you have half of a coin. If you hold down shift and middle mouse, you can go and look at the bottom. And there's nothing there. So I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Uh, you got half a coin. But 
um, we want it to be on both sides. So you can do something called mirror, but the problem is if you do a mirror, uh, all the text on the other side is going to be backwards. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, if you go over here to bodies, click on body one, click create, and then we're going to do a pattern, circular pattern. Okay, so we have our object selected, which is body one. Now we're going to turn our origin back on. And then when you click, click on object is, is this, click this, and then uh, axis select is going to be uh, you can turn off the bodies. Click this blue or whatever one is going to be this way so that when it flips a coin around it'll be the correct way. So, um, okay, you can now that you have access selected, you can turn the body back on. Okay, now it's trying to do some really wonky stuff here, right? And that's because it's trying to make three of them, but we only want two. So change that to a two. And now it'll just circ it'll just flip it around the other side. So click OK. And now if you flip to the other side, it the text is correct. Right. And if you want to flip it the other way, so it's like when you flip it this way, or I kind of made it if you flip it this way. Um, it's up to you. Just make sure that the text is the right way if you do text. Okay, so you can turn the origin back off and the sketch is off. Okay, that's basically what the coin is. So this is, uh, if you do inspect, measure, um, this line to this line here. This is 3.2 millimeters. That's the standard size of a, standard height of a poker chip, according to the internet. And the diameter we already know is 39. So there you go. Uh, that's how you do the CAD part. Okay, so now we have this here. We want to save it, obviously, if we want to come back and make another one or maybe change it. Maybe it's too big and you want to make a smaller one later. Okay, so just click Save. And then we can save it as Janky. Uh, and then you can click Save. Okay, so. Here's, this is one of the issues you're going to have. So see how there's two bodies? Remember I was talking about join earlier? So that's okay, you have two bodies. But we need to make it into one body. So we're going to click body one. Going to click modify, combine. And then uh, target body, just pick the first one. Select tool body. Click the other one. Click, make sure it says join. And then OK. And now it will just make it into one body. And this is important because th this is what you're going to save to send to the 3D printer. So you have to, ha it has to be one body. So right click on the body. Um, so, you, so you saved it. You can save this again too. Just say, uh, because now it'll say version 2 in the Fusion. So this is like a Fusion 360 file, but a Fusion 360 file isn't going to print. So we have to make an STL file. And I'm sure if you downloaded stuff from Thingiverse or somebody else, that's what you download when you get from Thingiverse. So you're going to do right click on body, save as STL. OK, you're going to get this little window. Um, I don't really change any of this stuff. You're not going to send it to the Fusion 3D print utility Unless you want to, we're going to be using ours in Slicer, which is what came with my uh, Prusa printer. So click OK. It's going to bring you up like a regular window here. Um, uh, I'll just put it in here. Uh, so we got our Janky Shack Poker Chip STL. OK, so that's... That's it for the first section of this video series. Um, the next one is going to go show you how to take the STL, use a slicer for the for the 3D printer, and get all that stuff set up. <laughs>